I want to introduce you to a pasta that could possibly change your life. It is the easiest pasta recipe you will ever come across. Inspired by the great Martha Stewart, it only takes a few ingredients and it's all done in one pot. This is my one pot pasta with tomatoes, basil, all those brilliant classic Italian flavors. So it starts off with a little bit of chopping. I've got some tomatoes which are already sliced. I'm gonna slice up my garlic nice and thin. And the beautiful thing about this recipe is that it all takes place in one pot. So once you have all your ingredients ready to go, it's gonna cook pretty quickly. So we've got garlic, we've got a little bit of chili. You don't have to add the chili if you don't want to, but I think it adds a nice touch of heat in a pasta sauce just like this. The trick with this pasta, because it cooks so quickly, is to make sure that you have nice thin slices on your garlic, on your chili, and on your onion. It just means that it's gonna cook together quite quickly and quite fast, but you're also not gonna get any of that raw flavor from any of those ingredients. So just nice thin slices on your chili, and then finally, that onion. Just take the tops and the ends off your onion, and then just finely slice on the vertical, you should be left with wafer-thin slices of onion that is gonna cook down and add so much richness to the sauce. I have to admit that I was quite skeptical when I first came across this recipe, but it really works. Having tried it, having tested it, it just comes together as something really luscious, creamy, and satisfying in the sense that you get all those Italian flavors in one pot with very little effort. We are in business. We have the onion, we have the garlic, and we have the chili, and now it's all about an assembly job. I have a pan that's large and high-sided, and I'm going straight in there with some pasta. We're gonna start off with onions in one corner of the pan. Stick in that chili and the garlic. Get in those tomatoes. I'm using cherry tomatoes here, and if you can get a mixture of colors, all the better but any tomatoes will do here. You just want something that's gonna break down quickly, so if you have larger tomatoes, just chop them up a little finer. And then for that truly authentic Italian taste, you have got to go in there with basil. I'm gonna use about half this bunch in the sauce at the start, and then I'm gonna decorate it with some more at the very end. So just tear off some of those leaves, and then scatter them in and around this lovely looking pan. A good drizzle of olive oil going in here. You just want a few glugs. Season it up with some salt and some pepper. There is something very satisfying about a dish that looks this good before you've even started cooking. Now that we've got all that, it's time to get in there with our liquid. You can use chicken stock here if you want to, but just regular water will do. Just pour that straight the way over. And now, that's pretty much it. That's all you've gotta do. Stick on the heat. This is gonna cook out for about 10 minutes. You need to continuously stir and just keep an eye on it to make sure everything breaks down, it cooks out, and you get left with this brilliant pasta sauce. This is now starting to come together. It's come to the boil, and you just need to use a tongs and mush it about the place. And what will happen is that pasta will swell up. It'll take on a little bit of the liquid. The tomatoes mush down. You've got all the flavor of the onion. And basically what you'll be left with is a silky smooth pasta sauce, which is just epic. The only piece of advice I will give you while making this is keep your eye on it and use that tongs just to make sure that everything cooks through. I mean, it's only gonna cook for 10 minutes, so you do need to keep an eye on it. This is exactly what you're after. That silky sauce, that perfectly cooked pasta. And now to finish it off, I'm just gonna grate some pecorino cheese over the top. The trick here is to grate the pecorino in, give it a last stir, and it actually helps to bring the sauce together with that bit of creamy cheese running through it. That should do me. Give it a last good stir through, and don't forget some of that fresh basil. Just tear in those leaves. That last little hit of fresh basil will just make all the difference. Give it a last little stir. And the liquid that's in this pan has come together with the starchiness from the pasta to create a really velvety tomato sauce. So this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna give it one last season with a bit of black pepper. And now it is time to serve. This is where I get a little bit excited. We've only had 10 minutes in a pan and you get left with the most creamy and luscious looking sauce. The tomatoes have broken down, the sweetness is just gonna add so much to this sauce. So now, all that's left to do is to dive in and try some. This is why this is so amazing. In 
very short amount of time, you have a perfect plate of pasta. It is creamy, it's delicious, it has all the flavors of Italy in one bite. Italians, please look away because this is probably not the classic way to cook this, but it is so, so good. If you want the recipe, you can check it out in the box below over on my website. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious pasta recipes. Like this video, share it with your friends, and of course, leave me a comment in the box below letting me know if you're gonna try this delicious pasta. Until then, my friends, happy pasta making, and I'll see you soon.